this week we are giving away this iPod Shuffle. As usual, winning is easy. Remember, no coupons to fill out your name and number, no sending SMS to record, no draws, no guesswork. Simply like our Facebook page and write the 100th comment. Simple, transparent, and instant. Simon, welcome to Campus Edge. Yes, thank you. Yeah. You don't look excited. Is me, it so cold? Uh, it's so cold, <laughs> that's the idea. But yeah, yeah, so glad to be here. So did you did you keep on Facebook, waiting for all those comments to load and you know getting the hundredth comment? It's not so easy. I typed my first comment because mm. they said at least two. Only two, yeah. Only two. Mm. Only two apply. So mm. I typed the first one and I so was So the like first one was like number 10, 20. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So from 90. To 96, that was yeah, like beating. that was like <laughs> half seconds. People are really <laughs> typing like <laughs> in. <laughs> so I also get my comment and I type also very fast. I okay. wanted to be there. So by the time I posted it, it was telling me 106 comments. I'm like, ah, oh, so like where is my? <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> so had no idea. So I calculated from 96 to 106. So I should be somewhere in somewhere the middle. There. Mm. You're the lucky man, I should say, because... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, really? Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> High five, because it's not easy. <laughs> it's not That's easy, what Campus really. does for you. Oh, thank Keep you liking, very much. Keep liking, inviting people so that, you know, you should go out there. Yeah, actually... some people think it's not true. <laughs> actually, this thing is true. Yeah, show them. <laughs> you, guys, you guys think it's not true. It is very true. <laughs> you can just show oh. them here. It's see true. It's a see true. You can see it. It is there. I think it is mine. I'm taking it home. I know. Uh, stay on the page. You'll find all these amazing things there. You have been asking for Ebra Shapers and they are back. This week, we are giving away 20 Ebra Shaping Kits. Say goodbye to crooked and uneven eyebrows by getting these free kits. Winning is easy. No coupons to fill your name and number, no sending SMSs to our code, no draws. Simply like our Facebook page and write a comment. Now, listen, this is important. We are giving our 20 eyebrow kits to people that write comments number 100 to 120. Simple, transparent, instant. Remember, you can only write two comments. If you write more than two comments, you will be disqualified. Many university students start up personal businesses in order to meet the cost of tuition and upkeep. In this segment, we share their stories, successes, and challenges. So you too can be inspired. Sarah, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Yes, uh, can you just tell us about yourself? Uh, myself, as I've already told you, I'm Nawide Lea Sara. I'm a student at Kumba University. I'm just going to my second year. Yeah, I'm doing journalism and mass communication. Why did you decide to start up this business? Mm. We are quite many children at home, and I've seen how my parents have gone through tough times, as in getting our school fees. So. Having an idea of this, hairdressing, lighting, um, I decided to start up something of my own, at least where I could help myself with tuition, paying for myself, maybe, and also helping my other sisters. And Who was you? What did you start with to do this uh, salon? I first got the idea, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So because ideas can bring up capital. My startup capital came from various Places, various people. So my dad gave me some capital, it was 500,000. 500,000, okay. So my school hairdressing, where I went, they also helped me with 200,000. Mm -hmm. So my auntie also helped me out. How do you balance <laughs> books and business? Okay, that's quite difficult, very mm. difficult, because in most cases I end up locking, I have no time. And customers have already called you, they're booking, but you're like, I won't be around, she's also traveling, so 
in most cases I have to log, but tomorrow is free on Wednesday, mm -hmm. Friday, then on Sunday, so I maximize that time. Usually when I'm in class, I have yeah. to switch off my phone because it's too disturbing. You're like, let me just give in. I know I'm going to lose this money, but I have nothing to do because studies come first. I'm mm. my first priority. Mm. Uh, do you mind telling us the challenges you faced as uh, while you're running this business? In the main challenge, there are so many challenges, but yeah. the main, you know, me being a student, I yeah. have so many friends, and these friends think maybe when we go to Sarah's salon, yeah. she can play us for, hmm? for free, mm -hmm. and we mm -hmm. can play for <laughs> some other time. So it's a uh -huh. challenge. Is your tuition really here, or it is somewhere else? I can't say it's really here. Uh -huh. It's part of me, then my parents, Sometimes I make half of it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I make quarter. Mm -hmm. So what I make, basically, I I've never gone to full. Mm -hmm. I've never paid my full tuition, but at least I make half. Mm -hmm. My advice to fellow students, fellow youth who want to start up small businesses, maybe, um, it's not always about about the capital, as I've already told you. First, have the idea. Mm. Be committed. Mm. Mm. You know, in Uganda, we have so many job opportunities, but most of us are not creative. Thank you so much for your time, and hope we come back next time for a hair makeover. <laughs> you are welcome. You are always welcome. Now turning to events, it was fun, music, and all-night partying at the Lumbox Parade Night. Parade Night is a night when all drinks are put on hold except porridge. Let's see how porridge can make a party. Jovan brings you what took place. Hello agents, well right behind me is the Lumumba Fraternity. Blue Box Parade Night is what we are having tonight and we want to find out more about this solidarity. So stay tuned as we ask them why do they do the Porridge Night, why the energy is a solidarity, literally a solidarity or it is something more or something else. My name is Jovan and you're watching Campus Edge. Okay, ages, we are still at the Lumbox Porridge Night and ride with me are the guys of Lumumba Hall. Lumumba, make some noise! Lumumba, oi! Lumumba, oi! The winning oi! The losing C. Okay, and next to me is the counselor to be. Uh, his name is Bashil. I'm going to just ask him a few questions about the Porridge Night. Sebo, how are you? I'm okay. Yes, I w what we want to know is why. Who, okay, who organizes this Porridge Night? Actually, that's culture within these halls of resident, but basically it's Rumumba and Mary Stewart. People organize this forage, they are always the culture ministers of the two halls, the lady and the gentleman from the elephant, the, the elephant yeah. from Rumumba Hall. The elephant. Yes. Why are you in Rumumba? Yes, I'm in Rumumba by, na by birth, by national, by tribe, by language. I'm in Rumumba. Okay. By attachment. <laughs> okay, what we want to know is, what makes this porridge night addictive? There are so many people here. People have come to this place. What makes it so addictive? Actually, what makes this thing being addictive is because of the solidarity that we have as Rumumba and Mary Stride. Because that's why here, even whatever we are talking about, we say a solidarity toy. You find that everyone, people from other villages, they also come and enjoy the forage because of the solidarity. What are villages? I hear things like villages. What are villages? Those are the holes, actually. Because... <laughs> This is an empire, hey. and hey. here, this is the state house where our beautiful ladies, hey, hey. hey. beautiful ladies, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.
first year student, a fresher, and a second year student. They're going to be telling us the experience of this porridge night. Bagay, wagwan. Nama, wagwan, boss. Okay, how was the porridge night? Man, the porridge night was so great. You know, it's the culture of Lumumba. We really enjoy the Lumbox Empire. It's the greatest ever experience in this world. Until? We are so excited. Everything is moving on well. We have danced man, and we have boxers there, man, man. You know, the so great everything is, is there. going on well man, and we are enjoying much. So you've had fun. Yeah. <laughs> Finally come to one end and tonight we've been at the Lumbok Sporig Night. You've seen the culture, you've got to find out why the Sporig Night is actually a solidarity. Each and everything that happens here at Makere, Mary Stewart, Lu Lubumba Hall. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jovan and this is Campus Edge. Catch you next week, same time, same place. I'm out. Parting is fun for people of all ages but it is important that you stay safe while you're having a good time. Here are some things you should avoid at your next party. That's all we had for you today. Thanks for watching the show. Remember, we give our free airtime on our Facebook and Twitter pages before and after every show. So go over there and get it. You can catch a repeat of this episode on Monday at 3 30 pm. Go to our Facebook page and like us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter. Share us and tag us. We love your attention. We'll see you next week on Campus Edge, where we live life in the Grand Lane. <laughs>